Hello, friends, and welcome to church. My name is Pastor Bruce Dickerson, and I'm the lead pastor at Jerome Church. I'm so happy you've joined us for worship this day as we continue our series, God's Creativity. We serve a creative God. In this series, we'll be looking at how God's creative spirit and how God uses the power of language to create and connect a new people. Even as God is doing this new thing on the day of Pentecost, we know the same creative spirit has been at work since the very beginning, from the creation of the world to the creative ways God works to connect with all humanity. Let us join now in praise and song. church. My name is Sarah Merriweather and I'm the executive director here at Jerome. As we prepare to hear today's message, I want to invite you to connect with us during this time of our online worship together. During worship today, you can use the chat or the comment function on any platform that you're watching on to share your thoughts or your prayer concerns with our staff and our online worshiping congregation. I also invite you to connect to Church Center, which is our app and our online resource that virtually connects you to our Connect card, signups for upcoming events, worship videos and resources, kids and family resources, and our online giving platform to support the ministries and missions of Jerome Church. You can scan the QR code on the screen to connect or visit us online at jeromechurch.org slash church dash center. Today, we are continuing our new series called God's Creativity. So let's hear today's message from Pastor Bruce. Would you pray with me, friends? May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each of our hearts 
be pleasing in your sight, our Savior and our Redeemer. Amen. Last week we talked about the power of communications and how God creatively connected different people at Pentecost by empowering the apostles to speak in a variety of language, or at least to be heard in a variety of languages, to all the Jews who had gathered in Jerusalem for Pentecost, the, the Shabbat, the Feast of Weeks, and how they had heard the gospel good news of Jesus Christ through Peter, and how they could all understand, and it says 3,000 joined their number. And what an amazing miracle. And what a creative way for God to reach out and talk to us and them right where we are and how we need to hear him. Now, we also heard how we as Christian disciples are to communicate the gospel good news of Jesus and all the different ways that people may need to hear it to understand, whether through a sit down over coffee, a sign language, or all the different social media aspects. We can preach God's word to share the gospel good news to all the world. Now this week we're going to a little further back, and when I say a little further back, I mean all the way back to the beginning, where God takes a formless void of chaos and brings order. God speaks and creation is formed. Hear these opening words of Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Now, as we continue that story, we hear how God creates everything, uh, the sun and the moon and the stars, all the plants and animals, everything in creation over that first chapter of Genesis. But I really want to focus in on in the beginning when God created or began to create the Spirit of God hovered over the deep, like, like an empty void or a sea. And God there is bearing witness to the ability of God to call forth life out of this watery, not yet productive void or space. Now, you heard me use the word agency there, and, and, and agency and ability uh, are kind of interchangeable in that. It, that it's within God's realm of being able to create something from nothing. Now in the Hebrew scriptures, the word bara is used only to describe this creating agency or ability of God. And God's breath, God's spirit, the Hebrew word ruach, hovers over this void, but moving deliberately, blowing over this space, then God's voice orders the heavens and the earth, orders everything, and through the word creates everything. So the question we have to ask, is God alone hold agency to create? And that's, that's a difficult question because the answer is yes or no. And what I mean by that is yes, God is the only one who has the ability to create something from nothing. And that vast void, that nothingness, that deep, that watery chaos. However you want to remind, uh, think about that nothingness, God is able to bring order, to create something out of nothing. So yes, in that sense, God is the only one who has the ability or agency to do that. But also no. You see, when God calls the creation into existence, he does it with intention and will. And the very idea of the call invites participation. The, the idea, call, brings something else in. Let there be kind of becomes let us make. 
You see, God through creation is in community with what is becoming, even before it fully exists. God is in community with what is becoming. God's word fills the void with light and darkness, with a separation of the waters above and on the earth below, with the order of time and day and night and the sun and the moon and the stars. Through words, God creates plants and animals of all kind, and finally, a particular animal, a human being. It says, let us create a man in our image, the image of the triune God, God the Father, God the Spirit, and God the Word, Jesus, God in the flesh. God, through creating all, entered into a partnership with creation, and all living things reproduce and create. God is not the only one with creative power in that way. God created us out of love, created in God's image to love and for love, to care for creation. In the image of God, reflecting that divine image. So we are called into creation also to partner in creation. All living things are able to, or at least uh, in proper order, are able to reproduce. Plants in proper order are able to reproduce. Humanity is able to reproduce. Animals of other kinds are able to reproduce. Now, there are exceptions to this rule. There are things that happen. But in the common uh, way, that is the way it, it is, that we, we, in the right order, are able to reproduce and create. And so we are God's agents called and commissioned to care for what God has made, to steward what God has created. And like God, to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth to have dominion, to nurture and care for God's creation, to care for the earth and to develop the earth. And that is our responsibility of being stewards. In short, God's voice created and invites us to create in God's image. That's what we are called to do in those opening moments of creation. We are created in God's image and love for love, to care for creation, to add to God's creation through God's image, and therefore to reflect that divine image. Not to create evil, not to create uh, chaos, which we are good at doing, but to bring God's image God's kingdom into the world. We serve a creative God who trusted us as stewards to continue to create. So let us be about our work. Thanks be to God. Amen. It's good to be with you again in worship today. Today we're continuing our new series exploring God's creativity in all the ways that he loves and leads us. As we continue in worship together today, I want to invite you again to connect to all of the resources in Church Center, which is our online hub for engaging with the ministries of Jerome Church. While you're there, please be sure to check into worship or complete your Connect card today and take some time to explore all of the opportunities in the app, including upcoming events and ways to volunteer in a local mission, or grow deeper in your faith by participating in a class or an upcoming study. One of the ways that you can join in the work of serving others at Jerome Church is by supporting our Habitat for Humanity and Help Build Hope wall build that's coming up on Saturday, September 9th. For the fourth year, we will come together during this event as a church and community to build the walls of a family home that will be donated to our partner Habitat for Humanity organization. You can support this wall build by signing up to volunteer. 
to lead a work team or support this event financially by making a donation or by becoming an event sponsor. You can scan the QR code on the screen to learn more and to register or donate to the wall build. You can learn more about all of the upcoming opportunities at Jerome Church, as well as view the calendar and connect to signups through the Church Center app or by visiting our website at jeromechurch.org. The people of Jerome Church are committed to the mission that Jesus gave us to love God and love people. And you can support the missions and ministries of this church by giving a financial offering today. You can give electronically through the link in today's video description on the Jerome Church website or through the Give tab in the Church Center app. And if you've made the decision to give financially for the first time today, I want to say thank you and let you know that you can connect to our online giving platform by texting the word GIVE to 614-587-7871. You can also give through the automatic withdrawal option by contacting the church office or by mailing a check to Jerome Church at the address on the screen below. As we end our time of worship together today, I want to say thank you for making this worship time a part of your week, whether you're joining us live on Sunday morning or watching later on demand. I want to invite you to connect with us online this week through our social media platforms and in the Church Center app and know that we look forward to worshiping with you next week as we continue our new worship series together. Have a blessed week, friends. with expectations but there's nothing you